What's going on boys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over how you can play lockdown defense in Madden 23 no matter if you just got the game today or if you've been playing Madden for years. Drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, comment down below what do you need help with in Madden 23 and I will make sure to bring that to you in the next video. Let's get into today's banger. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down how you can bring a cornerback blitz in case your opponent happens to be blocking a running back, okay, to make sure that you get that instant pressure on the quarterback. Now, you're going to want to have to set this up if you need help with how to disguise certain coverages. Make sure that you get the ebook down in the link in the description and also pinned in the comment section. And like I said before, if you need any help, make sure that you let me know in the comment section also. We're gonna do the overload blitz right now and we're gonna be saying that our opponent is trying to hit us with corner routes. So we're gonna do shock H option. Now, the first thing you wanna do, setting your defense up is you wanna pinch the entire team. That is gonna be R1 or RB and then down on the left stick. Now, I always like to give my guys outside leverage. What people like to do is hit you with corner routes. So I'm gonna step him one step to the outside, I'm going to step him one step to the outside and him one step to the outside, okay? So I want to have outside leverage. Also, what that does is it helps bring these routes to your user who is going to be right here in the middle. Now, what you want to do on this play is you want to keep both of these linebackers always close to each other. Now, I'm going to come and step down and I'm going to pull one of these linebackers out, not using speed burst but just using a circular motion like this. If I can pull one of these linemen out, that's gonna help me get that cornerback in super, super fast. So if I stay right here, close to the line of scrimmage, they hike the ball and I can pull one of them out, that's gonna help my loop get around super, super effective. And that's what it's all about. Now, you don't wanna send your cornerback on a blitz every single time, but say that you've been only sending four man, four man, four man, and now you wanna get exotic. Okay, so by me bringing my user down and taking one of these linemen's attention away, they don't realize that it's somebody coming completely free from the outside. Plus the adjustments that I made by giving these guys outside leverage, put them in great position to be able to stop corner routes down the field. This guy is in position right here for a corner route. This guy right here is in position for any outside breaking routes. And then this guy is in position in case they do a corner route. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. We're gonna press the entire team one step, one step, one step. And it's super easy. Now you can guess pass, and then I'm gonna come down in a circular motion. I wanna get that cornerback free, and then boom, they throw it to the running back each and every time. But as you can see, outside of the running back, it is great, great coverage, and you have a chance to get that free cornerback in, okay? He's taking a long time, so you can do things like this. Go ahead, one step out, one step out, and you can bring him one step in. Now, make sure that you do this. You have enough time because they know that you are being aggressive. I like the guest pass also, so in case they do a play action, come down circle, and now you can see we get a super fast screamer, okay? Now, the person that you have right there is super important, his agility, his speed, but as you can see, he has to take a super long angle, but he's able to get around there before the quarterback can make his completion. Boom, right there. Now that can turn into a strip sack, that can turn into a fumble, you can pick it up, get a scoop and score, it's just super important. We're gonna pinch the entire team, we're gonna do one step, one step, one step, and we all set up. Now you can go ahead and bring him if you have enough time. You just wanna get him close to the box and we're gonna circle around. Very easy, circle around, make that quarterback take that extra second to make his read and you're gonna be having, instead of pressure coming through the middle because he's not expecting the blitz. He see me circling around, he sees a four man pressure. 
So he's gonna think he has more time in the pocket to make a read. We do have this person coming up the middle, but then we also have a great blitz coming from the outside. And this is just something that you wanna sprinkle in. Great coverage on these corner routes. He can't force that throw right there. And then all you have to do is hold the SWAT or try to jump the route. I would rather hold the SWAT. So we're gonna come right here. Like I said, one step, one step, one step. You all set up. You can bring him in one step too. Come right here. You don't have to be right in the box. And then you just want to circle out. Once you circle out, that's going to be great, great coverage. You have somebody in the vicinity to either make a play on the ball or swat the ball. All right. So if you've been setting it up like this and you go to pinch and you want to blitz this guy off the edge and you want to put this guy into a zone. So this time you're going to mix it up. You're going to put him into a zone, give him that same look, move these guys out right here. Now we have this linebacker blitzing. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to help with the running back. Now I'm going to come out here. Now we have, look at that great, great pressure. Okay. So when you find a blitz or something that works, you don't have to use that every single time you can adjust your coverage behind it. So instead of that blitz and cornerback, now I dropped him into a zone. I don't have zone drop zone. So he's going to get a bump type look he's going to play purple over there okay i moved everybody out they one step great coverage on the back side i take this running back and now he's stuck with nothing to do but run out of the pocket and now we got a great coverage sec drop a thumbs up on the video let me know any problems that you are having and i will make sure to help you guys out ebook is live down in the link in the description super glitchy offense and incredible fast blitzes on defense if you're looking for a super super fun and easy way to earn extra money follow me on underdog fantasy and use code fat dollars for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks all you got to do is come in here make one dollar bets two dollar bets three dollar bets it don't matter choose your players come over to the right put the amount in one dollar bet you have a chance to win three dollars back I will be giving you guys free picks. Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun.